All right, y'all. We are back home. Just went to uh, karate classes for JB. Let me t let me turn <clears throat> this air down some. We're in our garage. Remember, I told y'all those of you who've been following me for a while. I told y'all that my husband has a car accident every year. No fail. Every year he has a car accident. Look. Our insurance is crazy. I'm paying like two twenty for both our cars a month. I get a call while he's at work telling me um, I hit someone's car. I said, excuse me? He's like, yeah, I hit someone's park, park car, kind of like what I did with your car. Uh, I'm like, oh, you know what? So I'm about to go out here and see the damage to his car, y'all. I've already submitted the claim with Geico, but I'm like, why are you? He needs to have his license taken away. Let's go see what the damage is, though. Boo -boo. Be careful, I almost hit you. I almost hit you. <coughs> Where does he hit it at? Y'all, sometimes he be exaggerating, so we'll see. Do you see any damage, Boo Boo? Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He said, you know what? It's right here. What is wrong with this man, y'all? Y'all, his glass, the glass here messed up. I have no idea. How he, this right here is completely jacked up. That is, that is like a crap. Right? How did he, how is he hitting people's car? Yeah, and this but ain't this no is cheap car. car. Oh, y'all, it's already hot here in Phoenix. <coughs> My throat is still on some fuller. <coughs> Look, I'm so upset. <coughs> this is tea. First of all, my husband is horrible at communicating. He's gonna tell me, I said, I gotta go at my doctor's appointment. He's like, uh, did you get my phone, my email? Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> this is Vivian. <clears throat> <clears throat> tell my husband, reminding him, JB's in the bed, I'm gonna go to my apartment. My appointment. He's like, you didn't get my email? Who the hell sends an email to let them know about something they have to do? Said you can't see me a text message. You can't call if you want, y'all. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? Or maybe he forwarded me the the appointment notification or whatever. I don't know. Don't be emailing me. I didn't even get the email. <clears throat> get up here to the doctor, which is in downtown Phoenix, and she's like, "Oh, your appointment was at eight 15 I said, "No, it wasn't. There is no way I was scheduling an appointment for that early." Cause I'm coming from damn near Anthem. She's like, oh, I said, there's no way I would have scheduled something that early. Cause that means I would have to leave my house at 7.30 to get down here. She scheduled it wrong. I'm pretty good about keeping stuff like that. So <coughs> anyway, let me stop complaining. I told JB I would take him somewhere. Y'all, I'm really trying to watch my sodium intake because now that I'm cooking with pink Himalayan salt, when I eat any type of food that has a lot of sodium, my um my feet swell up my feet and my hands and so yeah <clears throat> i say all that to say that we're going to be going to chick-fil-a i told him to go to raisin can get him some food then go to chick-fil-a so he could play girl i can't eat that chick-fil-a food if y'all ever look at how much sodium is in fast food oh my i would be bloated i would be so bloated i could probably counteract that by drinking two gallons of water but no i'm gonna stick to some grilled chicken nuggets and even the sauces have a lot of sodium. Grilled chicken nuggets and um, I can have a small waffle fry. Hey, you guys, we're out and about shopping. I know y'all can hardly see it. My eyebrows are melting off. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, it was a really nice lady that spoke to JB. We're gonna go, let's, and we're gonna go to Matches Farm. Child. So now we're going to Matches Farm on a field trip. I just stopped by, we're at Sally's, and I got, I'll show y'all real quick. Let me know if y'all want to see a video on this. I've already done a review, but maybe I'll do like how to pimp up a, a deep conditioner. So maybe I'll do a, view, a, a video like that. This is the natural deep conditioner by um, Eden Body Works, bomb.com. Maybe I'll do that. All right, y'all. We had, um, sorry, y'all. We had lunch at Chick fil A. I never had this week. You never had that one before? I had my grilled chicken, which was just okay. It was okay, but hey, I'm not hungry. Grilled chicken with some fries, and I got tea <coughs> from um, Raisin Can. I didn't even do the lemonade. Stopped by Michael's to see what they had, and I got these cute little, uh, still from my she room, 
these cute little, they have fairy decorations. This is right adorable. Before we went to the Goodwill and got this big um, TV red TV. JB got some retro 80s, oh girl. And this right here, little cute little, they were only $9 together, really, really cute. Um, so y'all, my throat is just been, it's dry out here. But it was so funny, while we were shopping, this young guy came up to me, he's like, um, excuse me, are you married? I said, yes. He said, okay, so I'm going to a wedding, and he basically wanted to well, know what's my opinion on what would be a good wedding gift for um, the ride, or for the couple. I said, well, get like a mirror, or a frame, or something for a mantle. You want something neutral, because you don't know what their color scheme is. I could tell they're not from here. <clears throat> they're not from here, they look like they're from, um, they had that Jersey Shore hair, him and the other guy. Dark, dark, dark skin, Sicilian like Italian. Yeah, it, this is it, it's 101 according to my temperature. I'm gonna go home. Christine says she's not working. <laughs> we, we collaborate on who's gonna be working, you know, basically a full day, especially on Friday, so she's not working I a full day. like three. So I need to go home. Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. It is. Sunday we are in the second week of June my voice is low because it's early in the morning the kids what time is it it's like oh it's five o'clock JB should be getting up soon it's Sunday my hopes and dreams were to go visit this new church today hold on I scheduled this out like two weeks ago y'all don't like that my planner but let me show you something real quick. Let me pan around over here real quick. You see all of this? You see all of this over here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, immediately after the trip, my husband was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get someone to um, get started on the house painting. And I'm thinking, okay, and maybe I've already spoken about this, y'all. Excuse me if this is repetitive, because I'm tired, and I, I'll explain why I'm really tired here in a minute. We're basically going to be having people come over and paint. He scheduled someone within a week. I'm like, we just got finished with the bathroom. I was expecting like at least, and we just got back from Texas, at least give us <coughs> two or three weeks of resting. Because I'm going to be the one here having to deal with this. Because he gets to go to work, go somewhere, you know. But I would be here with the painters most of the day. Whatever, girl. Oh, yeah, I have talked about this before. I'm sorry. So... I've started, what they're gonna do is day one and two, they're doing the guest bedrooms, the hallways, the office, and a small bathroom. So if you have seen my house tours, or you've just seen my house in, in general, I have a lot of decorations. I have a lot of pictures on the wall. So I have to pull all that stuff off the wall and put it in here. Then once they're done, I can put all that stuff back there, right? And then um, days three and four, they're gonna do this area back here. But Miss Jackson is, is a planner so I've already started taking stuff down up in here too in the open area um I knew we were going to be having the house painted so months ago because we talked about this way in January months ago I started doing things like cleaning out that back closet <coughs> you have to excuse me coughing my asthma how should I ask my acting up my asthma is on we'll talk about that too here um so all my stuff has been clean. I cleaned out JB's closet two weeks ago. He he don't got nothing, girl. Um, I cleaned up under the beds. I'm a fairly clean person to the point my husband's like, he's like, I don't think we need a house cleaner every two weeks. You may just want to schedule her as needed. I'm like, no, I need her every two weeks. Because the thing is, is that if I schedule her as needed, it's going to take her longer to get back to the routine of how she's used to cleaning. Everyone cleans, di cleans differently. So let her come every two weeks. Sometimes it may not take her longer, you know, as long. But I also clean in between when she cleans. Because I know this last time, I know I'm all over the place, y'all. Last time, she was purposely delaying. Not purposely. She loves what she do. She loves, she loves to clean. <clears throat> so I could tell that it should have only taken her two hours, but she was slower than normal and it took her three hours because I cleaned in between the times. I'm not going to purposely leave something dirty. That's lazy in my opinion. But two nights ago, JB woke up in the middle of the night and he's crying. <clears throat> he's trying to say something and he's holding his mouth 
and he's choking y'all he's choking on vomit I know this is disgusting he's choking and then he just throws up and since he's just a baby it's not like a lot of throw up girl it ain't like the excess is a bunch of puke I'm like it's not a lot but still girl throw up is throw up so a little bit of throw up on our comforter he throws up on the carpet I said baby go to the bathroom we go to the bathroom my husband gets up takes care of him I go immediately to the uh you know I, I put his head over the toilet girl I'm like baby you gotta I'm asking him what's wrong and he's crying because he's just a baby no one you know a little kid wants to be waking up in the middle of the night throwing up so he starts crying and he can really he can't really tell me why but my husband gets up yeah my husband is my yang you have a I'm the yang he's a yang I'm I get frantic sometimes but he's calm so he gets JB calms him down get him some water where I take my frantic ass and clean up the you know the throw up or whatever it wasn't a lot but still I felt like the bedroom smelled like it so I didn't even I didn't even sleep in there I went in the living room I didn't go back to sleep this was 2 30 actually this was 2 22 I like what does that mean <laughs> Is that six? The number six girl added up. 2.22 in the morning. I did not go back to bed because I could smell vomit. And I was worried about if he was okay. JB went to bed immediately. He fell back asleep. I cleaned him off. I laid him on the couch next to me. And once he went back to sleep, I laid him back in bed. The next day, he was happy, you know, running around. This is yesterday, excuse me. He was happy running around. Then he started having some interesting bowel movement so he clearly has some type of food poisoning or whatever and I was trying to not food poisoning but something something with the food he ate and I'm trying to figure out what did he eat all he had was Raisin Cane Texas Toast the night before we didn't eat out anywhere he had my husband gave him donuts I think it was too much food my husband spoils his kids he gave him two donuts I didn't realize that and came home and gave him something sweet to eat so he had been eating sweet food all day and just eating, eating, eating. So, um, y'all, I don't like to work. I mean, who does? I mean, that's a reason why we, we don't like to work as humans, as spirits, as spiritual beings in a body. We shouldn't work. But because of the fall, you, you old school saints know what I'm talking about. I want to show y'all JB Slint. I started to use the Blue Magic. Leave-in and extreme wet line gel. Look, you can use the palm of your hands to actually help the front. Stay still, baby. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just using the palm of my hand and doing it circular because now it's getting too long for that sponge. And JB wants his hair to grow. So let me stop. See what it's doing? And I, for a while there, I was wondering whether or not I would lock his hair. But you know what? I think that's a personal decision. And I want him to be old enough to make that decision himself. And also to be old enough to care for his locks himself. <laughs> um, locking is, is on a whole nother level in my opinion. So he needs to make the decision when he gets older. Because I know this may be a little, little far for some of you. But I, I believe that hair holds energy. <gasps> and so locking your hair <gasps> is, yeah. Let me show you what I'm going to be making for dinner tonight. Um, <clears throat> I am going to be making salmon. I have a pound of salmon here. Now I'm going to be doing a ginger garlic salmon with a kick in it. So I was going back and forth whether or not I wanted to make something called Tuscany salmon, which is basically salmon in a cream sauce with spinach girl and, and tomatoes and you pour that over some mashed potatoes. I made that a couple of weeks ago. It was divine, but it's a very rich 
um, dish. And I'm looking for something a little bit lighter, especially after I trip to Texas. So what I have here is two tablespoons of um, olive oil. They're playing outside. Two tablespoons of butter, I know. Um, two tablespoons of minced garlic, a squirt or two, I'm going to guess half a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. I have, I'm going to eyeball this, one and a half tablespoons of garlic, I mean of ginger that I'm going to mix up here. I'm going to add perhaps three tablespoons of brown sugar. Um, what I'm going to do is marinate this for a while. What time is it? It's 3.40. We don't eat closer to 6 o'clock. I may cook it a little bit early. Um, I like to have all my sides done and then leave my meat for the, for the uh, final. Just because I like my meat to be. Yeah. Anyway, so this is a type of dish that you can marinate. But you got to be very careful with salmon because you don't want it to fall apart basically with any type of fish in general. So I have a shallow pan here excuse me a shallow bowl or if you have a casserole dish i'm just going to marinate this flip side down um flesh side that makes sense you're going to see what i'm going to do so this is what the marinade looks like and i'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there um now i'm not going to add any garlic powder onion powder i am going to add a little bit of salt here um i don't have any soy sauce if i had soy sauce i would do soy sauce instead uh but i'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and yeah marinate this for a few an hour and then put a, I'm gonna put a plastic wrap on this before putting it in the fridge so y'all um I feel like these glasses ugh, anyway I need to probably clean them hold on y'all girl get it together y'all my eyebrows I gotta go get some more eyebrow pencils the reason why my eyebrows have been looking crazy in this video is because I'm running out of my eyebrow pencil and I'm using I'm I'm not really running out I during the winter times I use um, powder during the summertime I use pencil and I'm running out of my pencil I have tons of powder so I was trying to mix powder with pencil you ain't supposed to do that girl you'll get the mess that you saw earlier so anyway um the chicken pasta dish I showed you guys in the previous vlog that is my go-to dinner when I want to entertain people and I've had people over couples over when I want to entertain them that is always a dish that I know that people are gonna like um, and depending on who is coming over I would either do that with black and salmon or with chicken, which is very, very simple. Um, and I just pair that with a simple salad. And I always, I don't know why, I always make cheesecake with it because that's already a rich dish. If you really make it how the recipe calls for, which is a ton of cheese and heavy cream, that is a rich dish, but I don't. I cut back on some things. Sometimes I don't add any cream or any, any chicken and it's just good. Y'all, this child is acting crazy. Uh, thank God for camp tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, that is my go-to dish. But I think that the Tuscany salmon dish spilled on top of um, uh, uh, red potatoes, that's going to be my go-to. If they don't like salmon, which some people don't like salmon, they don't care for it, which is fine. I could do chicken breast or chicken thighs. When I tell you that dish is so decadent and good, that is so good. That's going to be my go-to. I want to have my neighbors over for dinner one day. But y'all, we're going to have to get some new furniture. We have had... And I know this year alone and last year too, we just want to get some major big ticket things done around the house. We've put quite a bit of money <coughs> into this house besides the floors, the wood floors, now the painting, solar panels too. We put a, a bit of money. I don't know how much, but it has been a coin. Um, so stuff like, you know, it's my neighbors next door. Um, you know, our stuff like, you know, the couch and a new dining room table, furniture nowadays is so affordable. <coughs> it's not going to cost no more than $2,000. Like, seriously. Hey, you guys, look. <laughs> it's been a crazy few days. Um, our painting was scheduled for two days ago, and they pushed it out to tomorrow, which is Thursday. Actually, I prefer that because if they were going to paint today or starting yesterday, I would have been way behind on work. So this gave me time to get caught up on work. And so they'll be here on the weekend, over the weekend also. So that way we'll just be here. I mean, that's perfectly fine with me. Ah, Y'all, I'm in the back guest room. It actually feels good back here. Everything is taken down. Look, everything has been moved. I still have a couple of things to do here before they come in the morning, but I did everything earlier because I we assumed they were coming early, which is fine, like I said. Y'all, 
I wanted to do a chit chat video, but I don't have time this week nor next week. Um, what the hell is up with YouTube? The YouTube, I feel, <laughs> I feel like things are getting worse and worse and worse on YouTube. There's always drama. There's always people bringing up beef. There's always people bringing up old beef. There's always some bull, excuse my language, there's always some bullshit going on. So, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really talk about it, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm just gonna say it. The beef with the mukbangers. There is like, <laughs> I'm like, why is there, and those of you who don't know, mukbang or a type of video where you eat in front of a camera. And I told y'all a couple of years, it's been about a year ago where there was some beef with, some other meaning there was a little bit of tension and pettiness going on with some of the other mukbangers and it's like what do you have you just sitting in front of the camera and eating what's the problem well the problem comes up is when you start doing collaborations and when people start what basically when people start clashing and working together and you're being fake so i'm just gonna go ahead and say it um be loves life and eating with q whom both i subscribe to now a while back yes i was noticing that um eating with q was basically pulling a lot of stuff from other youtubers um and i i say you know imitation is a form of flattery so i didn't think anything of it but absolutely she blew up big when i mean this girl blew up i mean she got like she said, well, a little over 300,000 subscribers, although she has lost quite a bit. Those of you who don't know, let me just summarize it. B Love's Lights also got really big. Bethany, she got really big. Um, you all can look at the video. So many people, by the time I load this up, which will be almost two weeks after the drama, so many people have done reaction videos on their spill on it. This is, this is what I think is so sad. Both sisters have sisters who are also youtubers 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 girl <laughs> and it's so funny because the sisters personalities are swapped meaning eating with q sister who also met bethany family has a youtuber and she's a very sweet pleasant woman she has done a video apologizing to be loves life and her family <coughs> excuse me Whereas B Love's life sister, Chow, she has done several videos basically dragging her own sister and her, her the family. I was looking at some of the comments. Some people were like, well, who needs enemies when you have family members like you? Like this woman is, you know, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, you ain't supposed to just sit up and eat your food. Eat your crawfish, girl. And like, and dip it in your butter, whatever the hell y'all lord have mercy but it's really sad um videos have been taken down and it's just like it's <laughs> so i'm still subscribed to both of them because honestly i don't really watch mukbangs as much as i used to um but i just think that think that's ridiculous so anyway um another thing i kind of have been looking at and yeah, it's your fault chocolate capricorn y'all i went down the rabbit hole and i'm about to go in here and, and get finished on this wild rice soup i went down the rabbit hole when it came to the scam this is old old news the scam with the lula rue y'all you want to talk about some foolery it's basically a multi-level marketing company very similar to uh tupperware um jamboree nails herbalife uh home interior those of you who from texas you know what home interior is but they really are a pyramid ski if a company tells you <laughs> i tell you y'all there is a sucker born every minute if a company tells you in order for you to make money for us with us you have to give us money that's a scam baby so lularue is this legging first of all the leggings are horrible if you have any type of seizure disorder don't be looking at those leggings too long you your ass is going to go into a seizure they're tacky they're ugly they're almost similar to those leggings that walmart sell but their leggings are like 15 20 dollars so lularue was getting all these consultants and now they're being sued they're you know, all that foolery where you have to buy yourself a kit and then sell everything in your kit. But with LuLaRue, you have to dish out thousands of dollars. The average I was looking at one person was $5,000. And there's YouTube videos on women who are like the reason why I love LuLaRue. <coughs> and I'm going to tell you all the tea here in a minute because I, I, 
I've been looking at the videos. Like every now and then, especially now since I've been watching them, then they come up in my recommended. And I, I am gonna watch it, girl. I wanted to do a chit chat, y'all, but I don't have time. So let me let me try to summarize it. So Lula Rue is like, um, we need for you to buy. If you want to be a consultant, then you need to purchase some some merchandise, right, at wholesale. So I think the cheapest is like five hundred dollars, but the average they would purchase five thousand dollars to buy to buy the um, wholesale leggings. So <laughs> hell. Um, so five thousand dollars but i saw one woman who she said she had thirty thousand dollars in merchandise so vice did a documentary on it and it, you can search on for it on youtube but when i tell you the foolery the company was started in 2012 by someone named deanne brady with her brady excuse me with her husband right so as a consultant you were to purchase a number of garments minimum like 400 three, excuse me 300 500 but like i said average five thousand dollars and so what um some women were saying was that they were able to make two thousand dollars because there were some making money oh yes uh the average that they were making was two thousand dollars a month you know supplemental income if you're a work-at-home mom stay-at-home mom excuse me uh, especially military wives that's who they really try to go towards um market towards excuse me so you have your extra income you know buying five thousand dollars girl you can make two thousand dollars a month one woman on here said she was making between fifteen thousand. She said her best month twenty thousand, selling some tacky ass leggings. So y'all, the leggings or poor quality they were being sold. They were being sent to the women with holes in them, mold growing on them. Um, <laughs> it's just absolute foolery. Then they started a policy where we will buy back your merchandise and pay for shipping if you don't sell it. Oh baby, they stopped that because then they just started getting a bunch of women sending back these tacky ass clothes and they want their money back. Well, they stopped that. So then you have all of these women, I'm talking about thousands of women with all of this merchandise and they can't sell it. And one of the ways they were able, one of the ways that they would sell it is having these parties or Facebook on Facebook. Like who the hell has time for this, girl? But this is the tea. This is where things get get even crazier. Remember, I told you a woman named Deanne. Let me see if I get the name right. Deanne Brady. I I, I want to hope I get the name right, y'all. Her and her husband started the company. Well, a couple of women who were with Lula Rue went over to a company called Piffany. Oh, girl, the gag is is that Piffany was started by. <laughs> Piffany was started by one of the what by the sister by the twin sister Dottie is Diane. I don't know which one's Diane and which one's Diane. Some other women who were again with, with Lula Rue are going to other companies called what Agnes and Agnes and Dodge Dee Dee Dots. But this is the thing: all of those companies are either owned by a sister, um, a daughter of anyone who's under the Lula Rue family tree. So all of these consultants who, who were with LuLaRue are going to these other companies thinking it's a better deal, but they're all still under, y'all, people just throwing their money away. And this is the thing, they don't care if you sell those leggings because you've already given me $5,000. Now it's your responsibility to sell that merchandise. I got my money. I'm good. You need to figure out how to get rid of that stuff. I'm not taking it back, so I don't care. Scamming, okay? Hey you guys, we are <laughs> mid-June. My allergies are crazy. But speaking of allergies, um, let me turn this TV down. Yeah, cause we better be beat this TV up. We ain't gonna beat this TV up, so. <laughs> oh my God. Sit down, baby. No, 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 I gotta talk to them real quick. All right, baby, stop it. Um, So y'all, today is when they're supposed to start painting the house, right? They show up on time. I, I guess we need to get into the habit that this is just gonna how, how this is basically how it is for certain people. What time is it? Okay, they show up on time, right? And so it's a husband and wife team. Cool. So she's asking us, you know, what's going on. I'm a little confused. I'm like, did y'all talk to the owner? So I let her know. I said, you know, um, we're looking for zero VOH, which is basically as non toxic as possible. I said, if you, can't, if you can't find zero, we definitely need low because my little boy and I, we have asthma and allergies. And she was a little concerned. She's like, oh, well, it does blow up dust. I said, well, what dust? She said, well, we're spraying. And when we spray, dust particles get in the air. I'm like, okay. 
Well, she told me that, and they left and went to go do something around nine, right? Or well, it was nine thirty by then. I had to go ahead and put JB and us, JB and I, back on singular because they're gonna be here for four days straight. You know, just taking some prelim preliminary precautions. I found our our <coughs> our dust mask, and I'm actually in the middle of a flare up now. Before they even starting, I found our mask. <coughs> I took my Zyrtec. Um. And then the owner contacts my husband and it's like, the wife does not feel comfortable spraying with a small child there. She has small children and she wouldn't even do it. I'm like, why didn't they say that? I, I'm like, cool. I look, I appreciate it. I, I'd rather you tell me something up front than us to regret it in the back end. My husband's like, it's, it's too much. Or no, he's like, um, I think she's kind of exaggerating. I said, no, she's not. She has small children. They've clearly been doing this for a while. So I'm going to take heed. And so... I contacted Miss Lori and told her that I asked her, excuse me, if we could stay over there today. She's like, Yeah, it's okay. Oh y'all. Yeah. It's it's in the afternoon evening here actually. Um it's been very cloudy here in Phoenix for some reason today. Look, we were about to have a Jerry situation 2.0, but I have to be here with my husband and be like, look. So girl, let me let me calm my nerves. I've had a drink or two, so you have to excuse me. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video, in the previous clip, excuse me, the people showed up on time <coughs> or whatever. Y'all, to sum it up short, to sum it up, the painting didn't start today. The husband and wife team that came by did not feel comfortable using the spray paint to paint our, our house. Um, apparently the only have, the owner has three teams of painters and um, they came over. I was very clear with my husband. I said, this is not gonna be a repeat of Jerry. Well, this is not gonna be a repeat of the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I kind of snapped. I really did. I didn't make any apologies either. And my husband, I just raised some concerns and I was like, look, you know, you, have, you get to go to work. I'm gonna be the one dealing with this stuff, you know, if things don't go off right. So basically, this couple emailed the owner with concerns of spray paint in our house. One, like I mentioned earlier, they were concerned that JB and I have allergies and asthma and they were using spray. Um, two, she said we have a lot of furniture and because they're using spray, she was afraid that some of this, the paint would get on our furniture. Wanted to know if we could move some stuff outside. No. Wanted to know if we can move some stuff in the in the garage. Hell no. Look, it's already in the three digits here in Phoenix. I'm not moving nothing outside or in the garage. That's not an option. Then she said something else that I didn't, uh, there was like three concerns, but I was like, whatever. I told my husband, I said, look, we can cancel this stuff. And he's like, well, what do you want to do? Uh, you don't want to paint the house at all? I agreed to do this because <laughs> you wanted to do it. And at this point in my life, I ain't got time to go back and forth with people. So he was like, why didn't you bring up your concerns earlier when I was talking about pain? I said, because I'm just gonna agree. Cause I, I don't have time to be going back and forth. But um, I personally do not want to be painting the house right now. I have too much going on at work, personal. This is our summer break. I don't wanna have to deal with this. So girl, spoke with the owner. <laughs> my husband was like, Finally got in touch with the home owner because three hours, we weren't hearing anything from anyone. And my husband's like, let me, pick you, let me basically put you on speakerphone so my wife can speak to you. So he got another team and this person has experience with rolling, traditional rolling paint in the um, house and the ceiling. We're painting the ceiling and uh, excuse me, that was another concern. The girl was, didn't, she didn't feel comfortable. I shouldn't say the girl. The husband and wife team did not feel comfortable painting the ceiling, okay? We have in this ceiling, I don't know how far it goes up. It's pretty high. We have vaulted ceilings, so. And this was his lead team, girl. So we have someone coming over on Saturday who is going to um, paint. I contacted him immediately and asked him to call my husband. So he's used to painting when people are living inside of the home. He's gonna roll or whatever. And <clears throat> depending on how we are feeling, my husband is willing to put us up in a hotel for two or three nights. Um, but I'm not as concerned. So 
if we start to feel a certain way, we will go to a hotel for a couple of nights. But I immediately put JB and I on back on our singular um, just for a week or so in case anything comes up. And we have, um, girl, we're gonna be looking like Michael Jackson. We have masks for our face. Ciao. I was this close to canceling all of it. I, Cause I'm over it. I, I just after all that foolery with the guest bathroom, this is the last thing I want to worry about. I basically did not work at all today, and I let my husband know that just because I am working from home does not mean I'm able, I'm available 24 7. I didn't get any work done, so JB's going to camp tomorrow, thank God, and I'll be able to work. So it'll all work out, and then the guy will come by on Saturday and start to pay. But I, you know, I have to reiterate to my husband. I, yeah, I just had a snapping moment, and we we rarely get into disagreements. Um, but I had to let him know, you know, this is an inconvenience of my time. I spent a week, a full seven days, moving everything from that back into here, this front area. So we need to take things into consideration when we plan stuff like this, and take into consideration that I have a work schedule at home caring for jb you get to go you you, you get to go into a, a a workplace you don't have to worry about caring about caring about jb and the household stuff jb is screaming my name <clears throat> yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here it's a lot so anyway y'all that is it for this vlog um y'all pray for me all right y'all take care bye